In today's video, we have exciting news about a significant development from Senator Bernie Sanders. He has introduced a new plan that could provide an extra $2,800 in social security checks for millions of Americans. This increase will benefit those who receive SSI, SSDI, VA benefits, and seniors, offering much needed financial relief. Find out who qualifies for the increased benefits. We'll cover all the details to ensure you know if you or your loved ones are eligible. Learn how the $2,800 increase will be applied. We'll explain the process and any steps you need to take to receive this additional support. Get insight into Bernie Sanders' proposal, including when these changes might take effect and what to expect in the coming months. Understand how this increase can positively affect your daily life and financial stability. We'll discuss how an extra $2,800 can help with expenses like healthcare, housing, and other essential needs. This proposal aims to provide crucial support for the most vulnerable groups, including seniors, veterans, and those with disabilities. We'll explore how these changes can improve the quality of life for many. Economic Benefits Learn how this increase in benefits can help boost the economy by providing more spending power to those who need it most. Your thoughts, we want to hear from you. Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. How would an extra $2,800 impact your life or someone you know? Engage with others in our community who are also affected by these changes. Your stories and feedback are valuable and can help raise awareness about the importance of this proposal. In a move that could provide much-needed financial relief to millions of Americans, Senator Bernie Sanders, IVT, has proposed a bold plan to increase Social Security payments by $2,000 per year. The plan specifically targets some of the most vulnerable segments of the population, including those receiving Supplemental Security Income, SSI, Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, Veterans Benefits, and Senior Citizens. Sanders, a longtime advocate for strengthening social safety nets, unveiled the proposal amidst growing concerns over the soaring cost of living and diminishing purchasing power of fixed incomes. With inflation rates reaching historic highs, many Social Security recipients have found themselves struggling to afford basic necessities like food, housing, and health care. At a time when half of older Americans have no retirement savings and millions of others are barely scraping by, we must act to protect the financial well-being of our seniors and most vulnerable citizens, Sanders said in a statement. This proposal aims to provide immediate relief to those who have sacrificed so much for our nation, ensuring they can maintain a basic standard of living in their golden years. The $2,800 increase, if approved, would be a significant boost to the average Social Security retirement benefit of $1,670 per month, representing an increase of nearly 14%. For SSI recipients, whose maximum federal benefit currently stands at $914 per month for an individual, the additional funds could be life-changing. Sanders' proposal also seeks to address the unique challenges faced by veterans and those receiving SSDI benefits. Many veterans, particularly those with service-connected disabilities, rely heavily on their benefits to cover essential expenses, while SSDI recipients often face exorbitant healthcare costs and limited employment opportunities. Funding for the proposed increase would come from a combination of sources, including raising the cap on Social Security payroll taxes for high-income earners and implementing a modest wealth tax on the ultra-rich. Sanders argues that these measures would ensure that the wealthiest Americans contribute their fair share to support vital social programs. However, the proposal faces significant hurdles in Congress, where Republican lawmakers have traditionally opposed efforts to expand entitlement programs and raise taxes on the wealthy. Critics argue that such measures could stifle economic growth and discourage investment, potentially undermining the long-term sustainability of Social Security. Despite the challenges, Sanders' proposal has garnered widespread support from advocacy groups and organizations representing seniors, veterans, and individuals with disabilities. The AARP, one of the nation's largest advocacy groups for older Americans, has praised the plan as a step in the right direction. For too long, Social security benefits have failed to keep pace with the rising cost of living, leaving millions of retirees and disabled Americans struggling to make ends meet, said Joe Ann Jenkins, CEO of AARP. Senator Sanders' proposal recognizes the urgent need for action and provides a much-needed lifeline for those who have contributed to the system throughout their working lives. Veterans organizations have also welcomed the proposed increase, 
citing the unique challenges faced by those who have served their country. Our nation's veterans have sacrificed so much for our freedom, and yet many find themselves struggling to afford basic necessities after leaving the military, said Disabled American Veterans, DAV, National Commander Andrew Marshall. This increase would go a long way in ensuring that those who have served are able to maintain a decent standard of living. The potential impact of the $2,800 increase cannot be overstated. For SSI recipients, who often rely on their benefits as their sole source of income, the additional funds could mean the difference between homelessness and a roof over their heads. For SSDI beneficiaries, the extra money could help cover the mounting costs of medical care and daily living expenses. Seniors, who often face the dual challenges of fixed incomes and rising healthcare costs, could find newfound financial security and independence. The proposed increase could help alleviate the burden on families struggling to support their aging loved ones, allowing seniors to maintain their dignity and quality of life. Furthermore, the influx of additional funds into the economy could have far-reaching ripple effects, stimulating local businesses and communities that rely on the spending power of Social Security recipients. Economists argue that every dollar spent on Social Security generates approximately $2 in economic activity, underscoring the potential economic benefits of Sanders' proposal. However, critics of the plan argue that increasing Social Security benefits and raising taxes on the wealthy could have unintended consequences. Some conservatives contend that expanding entitlement programs could discourage personal responsibility and savings, while raising taxes on top earners could stifle job creation and economic growth. While we understand the need to support our most vulnerable citizens, we must be cautious about implementing policies that could undermine the very foundation of our economy," said Phil Kirpin, president of the conservative advocacy group American Commitment. Raising taxes on job creators and successful businesses could ultimately hurt the very people this proposal aims to help by stifling economic growth and limiting opportunities. Despite the fierce debate, both sides agree on the urgency of addressing the financial challenges faced by Social Security recipients. As the nation grapples with the long-term sustainability of the Social Security system and the impact of an aging population, proposals like Sanders could serve as a catalyst for much-needed reform. Ultimately, the fate of the $2,800 increase will likely be decided in the halls of Congress, where partisan politics and ideological divides often clash with the pressing needs of vulnerable Americans. Supporters of the proposal remain hopeful that a spirit of bipartisanship and compassion will prevail, ensuring that those who have contributed to the fabric of our society are able to live out their golden years with dignity and financial security. As the nation eagerly awaits the outcome, one thing is clear, the battle to protect and strengthen social security has once again taken center stage, reigniting a passionate debate about the role of government in safeguarding the well-being of its citizens. As the debate over Senator Sanders' proposal rages on, it's important to understand the historical context and origins of the Social Security program. Established in 1935 under President Franklin D. Roosevelt's New Deal, Social Security was designed as a safeguard against poverty and economic hardship for the nation's elderly and disabled citizens. Over the decades, the program has evolved and expanded, with various amendments and legislative changes aimed at improving benefits and ensuring long-term solvency. However, critics argue that the system has failed to keep pace with the changing economic landscape and the ever-increasing cost of living, leaving many beneficiaries struggling to make ends meet. Sanders' proposal seeks to address this issue head-on, providing a substantial boost to Social Security payments and offering a lifeline to those who have contributed to the system throughout their working lives. The Vermont senator has long championed the cause of strengthening social safety nets, and his latest initiative is a testament to his unwavering commitment to protecting the most vulnerable members of society. While the proposal has garnered significant support from advocacy groups and organizations representing seniors, veterans, and individuals with disabilities, it has also faced fierce opposition from conservative lawmakers and economists who fear its potential economic consequences. The debate has reignited a long-standing ideological battle over the role of government in providing social services and the balance between individual responsibility and collective support. Proponents of Sanders' plan argue that investing in social security is not only a moral imperative but also a sound economic strategy. They point to studies that suggest that every dollar spent on social security generates approximately $2 in economic activity as beneficiaries tend to spend their income on goods and services within their local communities, 
stimulating businesses and creating jobs. Furthermore, supporters argue that the proposed tax increases on high-income earners and the wealthy would help ensure a more equitable distribution of the nation's resources, allowing those who have benefited the most from the economic system to contribute their fair share towards supporting vital social programs. Critics, on the other hand, contend that expanding entitlement programs and raising taxes could have unintended consequences, discouraging personal responsibility, stifling economic growth, and ultimately undermining the long-term sustainability of the social security system. They argue that the focus should be on implementing structural reforms to address the program's long-term solvency challenges, rather than increasing benefits and raising taxes. As the debate rages on, it's clear that the fate of Sanders' proposal will have far-reaching implications for millions of Americans who rely on Social Security for their basic needs. The outcome will not only shape the financial well-being of current beneficiaries but also have a profound impact on the future of the program and the nation's approach to social welfare policies. Regardless of the ultimate decision, the conversation surrounding Sanders' proposal has reignited a crucial dialogue about the role of government in protecting the most vulnerable members of society and ensuring a dignified standard of living for all citizens. As the nation grapples with the challenges of an aging population and the ever-increasing cost of living, it's clear that bold and innovative solutions will be required to address these pressing issues. Whether Sanders' proposal becomes a reality or serves as a catalyst for broader reforms, one thing is certain the battle to protect and strengthen Social Security will continue to be a defining issue in the nation's political and economic discourse for years to come. As the national conversation surrounding Senator Sanders' proposal continues to evolve, it's crucial to examine the broader implications of such a significant increase in Social Security benefits. While the immediate impact on recipients' financial well-being is undeniable, the ripple effects could extend far beyond individual households and communities. One area of potential concern is the long-term solvency of the social security system itself. Critics argue that increasing benefits without addressing the program's structural funding challenges could exacerbate existing shortfalls and hasten the depletion of the social security trust fund reserves. According to the latest projections from the Social Security Board of Trustees, the combined trust fund reserves are expected to be depleted by 2035, at which point payroll tax revenues would be sufficient to cover only about 80% of scheduled benefits. To address this issue, Sanders has proposed additional measures to bolster the program's funding, including raising the cap on Social Security payroll taxes for high-income earners and implementing a modest wealth tax on the ultra-rich. However, these measures have faced fierce opposition from conservative lawmakers and advocacy groups, who argue that such tax increases could stifle economic growth and discourage investment. Another potential concern is the impact of the proposed benefit increase on the overall federal budget and deficit. While Sanders has outlined plans to fund the increase through targeted tax measures, critics argue that the long-term costs could strain government resources and potentially lead to trade-offs in other areas of spending, such as infrastructure investment, education, or national defense. Supporters of the proposal, however, counter that investing in social security and supporting the financial well-being of vulnerable populations is not only a moral imperative but also an economic necessity. They argue that by providing a substantial boost to millions of households, the increased spending power could stimulate local economies, create jobs, and ultimately generate additional tax revenue for the government. Furthermore, proponents argue that failing to address the financial challenges faced by Social Security recipients could have far-reaching consequences for the nation's healthcare system. As seniors and individuals with disabilities struggle to afford basic necessities, including medical care, the strain on public and private healthcare resources could increase, leading to higher costs and potential rationing of services. Amidst these complex debates, it's clear that any significant reform to the social security system will require broad-based support and a willingness to compromise across the political spectrum. While Sanders' proposal has reignited the conversation, its ultimate success or failure may hinge on the ability of lawmakers to find common ground and prioritize the needs of the nation's most vulnerable citizens.